Every week, Paolo Reniva crosses the Taal Lake for an important mission. As a science research specialist for the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FIVOLX, Reniva conducts weekly checkups of the Taal Volcano. So, ngayon, ito yung part ng weekly observation namin. Every Thursday, nagsusukat kami ng pH, water temperature, lake level, tas visual observation, kung may nababago ba sa mga features dito sa crater, ganon. Ito, kakalibrate muna namin bago namin susukatin. Gathering such data is one way authorities are managing the risk of a major eruption, like the one that happened 261 years ago. In 1754, the Al volcano erupted for almost seven months, burying lakeshore towns under ash, rocks, and water. The 1754 eruption is now used by the government as a worst-case scenario. The Al volcano hazard maps were made to anticipate such an eruption. There are hazard maps for all types of dangers, fast-moving clouds of gas, ash, and rocks, falling rocks, lahar, and flooding caused by tilting lake waters. A 1754-like eruption happening today would threaten more people than before. May mga industrial zones, may mga highly developed na mga residential, commercial zones na within vicinity ng Taal Caldera na posibleng maapektuhan din ng isang malaking pagsabog niya. There are even people who live right on Volcano Island. It can affect Metro Manila only 60 kilometers away. The airport, the IA, can be affected by the volcanic ash because you cannot fly airplanes during asphalt events. It's not a very good scenario because the longer the, the eruption would last, the, prob the more problems we have in terms of uh, our socioeconomic functions being affected. Thankfully, technology lets us know if such an eruption will happen even months in advance, since at least 100,000 people will have to be evacuated. There must be coordination among the provinces of Batangas, Laguna, and uh, Quezon, and even Cavite on how people should be assisted or where they're supposed to go. Months of eruption would mean months of feeding and sheltering evacuees. For now, all we can do is remain vigilant. We currently live in peace with the volcano because it's not doing any threatening moves, does not erupt. But when it shows that it can erupt, then let the anger of the volcano pass through. Retreat, evacuate. And then think if we need to go back. Piranada, Rappler, Talisay.